Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek pashava. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Everything is time, time, time to work, time to get up, time to go to school, time to eat, time to take medicine, time to uh, receive uh, parents or family, time to, uh, all the time, all the time, 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 time. This is a trick of this illusion world to make us always feel on edge, yeah? Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu and Thai. Drago mie, mims nice to meet you in Montenegrin. My name is Dunia. The pure-hearted Montenegrin people send their silent prayers to all corners of the world. Montenegro is a slice of Adriatic heaven, meaning Black Mountain. Montenegro is a Balkan country, encompassing an Adriatic coastline, high mountain ranges and medieval villages. The Tara River flows vigorously, ever nourishing the land. Montenegro has been historically at the crossroads of multiculturalism, witnessed in the mosaic floors of ancient Roman villas, resplendently painted Orthodox monasteries, magnificent Catholic churches and elegant minarets of mosques. Fostered in the richness of culture and splendid nature, Montenegrin people are candid, convivial and charming, as they have always been. Dating back to the 15th century, the picturesque island village of Sveti Stevan oozes atmosphere and character and is a wonder to behold. With cobbled lanes, serene sea views, pine tree speaking, between terracotta roofs of pink stone dwellings, Sveti Stevan is a place of beauty and charm. The Ostrog Monastery, built against a vertical mountain site high up in the large rock of Ostroshka Greda, in central Montenegro, is situated near heaven. Depending on the weather, it can be in or above the clouds. It is dedicated to Saint Basil of Ostrog, who both oversaw the building of the monastery and was later buried there in the 17th century. It is an inspirational blend of humankind and wondrous nature. 
a surreal place for spiritual reflection, solitude and prayer. It is a privilege to briefly share a glimpse of Montenegro's natural beauty with you, blessed viewers. We wish for your days to be immersed in spiritual glory and divine love. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Quan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Quan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day and Honorary Citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine loving and going support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful and loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in a respectful harmony. Her initiatives included Alternative Living Flyer Distribution, the International Vegan Restaurants Loving Hut, Vegan Food Companies, Vegan Fur Products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Spiritual Experiences Strengthen Our Faith, Part 1 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on December 29, 2019 in Newland Ashram, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Hello, guys. What a beautiful day. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Good day, huh? <laughs> Not cold. Not cold. Dev, huh? Yeah. Oh, Vietnam, Dev. <laughs> Hello, Allah. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. Dev, huh? Hey. Bà ngoại Việt Nam đẹp, huh? <laughs> Hồi xưa họ nói là mẹ Việt Nam, bây giờ thành bà ngoại rồi. Yeah. Hoặc là bà nội rồi. <laughs> I'm not as tough as I think. Uh, my body is too fragile sometimes for this world, <laughs> for all these exciting energies and <laughs> grabbing vibe. <laughs> I'm okay, yeah. I'm trying to keep myself healthy. <laughs> all of you, the uh, non-Asian, okay, yeah? Yes. Nobody feel any problem? Ah, good, good. <laughs> Today I really am tired. <laughs> My body is more fragile than I think. Yeah, of course I cannot come out here and see you. And, uh, 
<laughs> Where's my cane? <laughs> but I was really tired because I have to catch up with many things and I couldn't do it today even. I did the most urgent and the rest is still here. Yeah, and maybe more to come, it depends on the day. Every day like this, no holidays, no vacation, no excuse. Even when I am on retreat, I still need to take care of some important and urgent documents and minimize it only. If it's really not all that important, maybe I can risk it and let them do it. <laughs> but important one, I still need to take care. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Because when I'm coming out to you, I look your feet and beautiful and dressed up. But <laughs> well, you don't know, when I'm alone, I'm running within my own house, within my own cave or within my own room, just <laughs> to catch up with things. Yeah, because time is a problem in our planet, in our world. We just have to run with the time. Everything is time, time, <laughs> time to work, time to get up, time to go to school, time to eat, <laughs> time to take medicine, time to uh, receive uh, parents or family, time to... Uh, all the time, all the time, 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 time. This is a trick of this illusion world to make us always feel on edge, yeah? Mm. What to do? If you have this body, you just have to do with this, yes. And I thought I became a monk and I, <laughs> I just uh, take it easy, just serve the world. Uh, ideal, <laughs> just sit, sit somewhere and find a Buddha, <laughs> like Shakyamuni Buddha, and go with him, bake in something, come back, wash the bowls, and then meditate, sleep. Yeah, just like what you're doing right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a kind of life that uh, Sekamoni Buddha has and his disciple had. Well, you are better off even. You have two meals, they have only one. Mm. And you only go out begging just a few meters away. <laughs> <laughs> the food is always ready <laughs> and clean. When the Buddha was alive, he went out for alms. The food may not be always clean. So even some monk asked him what to do if the meat some people don't know, they also offer some meat. He said, take the meat out and eat the rest. I'm not sure if I can do that. <laughs> you know, so nowadays I'm a modern monk, or modern monks have it more easy. If the meat is already there, I'm not sure if I can take it out and eat it. I'm not sure if I <laughs> can eat that. Maybe if you're hungry, of course you will not mind anymore, but... Even sometimes they cook the soup and there's a one little insect flew inside the soup and died. Oh, I had to make a ceremony for the, the insect, put them in the earth, but I cannot eat that. Or even an apple, if there is a little part of it, there's a worm or rotten, I cannot eat the rest. I'm just too sensitive. Not just now, when I was a kid, if there's some worm inside the soup or salad, I cannot eat the rest of it. So when Sikamoni Buddha was alive, he did not really have it too good. Huh? Yeah, afterward, maybe he became more famous and people, like rainy season, they don't go out to beg. So the disciple came to the ashram and cooked for them. That was much better then. Every monsoon season, the Buddha and his monks around him stay inside, have retreat for three months. And people came and offer food. That was better then, yeah? much better than when they have to go out and uh, ask for arm. But only it's rainy season. The rest, they went out begging for food so that they can have a chance to give, uh, married or talk to uh, the lay people to teach them something, yes remind them to be good and to do virtuous deeds. Yesterday, uh, some of the Aulak have written, I have no time to even read it yet. Truly like that. Uh, many country or people want to invite me everywhere to do this, do that, but I truly don't have time anymore. 
I haven't seen my dog until yesterday, just one time. Yeah, the rest still have to wait, yeah. And one of my dogs is not well, he's older and has some allergy, and I haven't got a chance to see him, only one time, one time. Lucky I have some people helping me, but then they have to sacrifice their time, you know, because these are only one nun. She doesn't have other job to do, but the other two boys take care of the uh, SMTV team, and they have their own work to do already, and they had to also help to take care of the dogs. Because too many dogs <laughs> for one nun, and one is sick, and we have to have special light treatment for him instead of only medicine, and the light treatment seems to work. Yeah, for people also it would work. What to do? <laughs> I really love you guys so much. I really want to spend a lot, a lot of time with you. It's just my body is not as good as I think it is. Yeah, I borrow the body, number one, number two is wearing out, you know, like a car, <laughs> a small car, taking so many uh, riders many hitchhikers. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you get trouble. Mm. Yeah, also karma, eh? But I'm okay now. When I see you, I'm okay. Just today it feels kind of low, eh? I have some stomach ache. Yeah. And I asked heaven, am I sick? Why, why do I have stomach ache? They told me, because you worry. So it's not sick, just worry. <laughs> Okay, nerves, yeah? Uh, worry too much work and cannot finish it all and so many things to do. One person, not just one person, all person. <laughs> eh? We, yeah? <laughs> we, two, three people here. Huh? <laughs> Patricia, you don't look old. Not you, these two. Gray hair. <laughs> How old are you now? I am 55. 55? 55, she is 60. Sixty. Ah, you're much younger than me, but don't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Originally, the doctors give me a lot of medicine, <laughs> uh, but now I'm reduced to only uh, three kinds. It's not medicine, actually, kind of supplement. Yeah, but I, I just forgot to take them sometimes. First, I put them on the counter, you know, next to where I come in and out, but then I eat outside. This you have to take with meal, and then one after meal. And then uh, I always forget. I thought I put it right there, then I always pass by, I always remember. No, I say, no, this is no good. I move to the other corner. I say, this you will not, not see, you will remember. I still don't see it. <laughs> and then I move outside where I'm eating, I eat and then I just left. I don't even see the medicine would right in front of my nose. It was just, <laughs> my mind is somewhere else. And yesterday, I went outside and took some beautiful Christmas uh, light photo. Uh, and then I saw some beautiful light inside one of the gates. And I thought, oh, we went inside, take some more photo. But this gate, I went in already before. And this is the gate for me to go out. I thought I went to the other gate, but it's not. So I even tell the driver, if you go this gate, you have to go all the way around and then come back here and go up in the other direction, the other connection. He said, no, Master, we're right here already. You just turn right. And we go, I said, huh? Well, oh, yeah, look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? So I went to the first gate, not the second gate. They told me, no, Master, first gate. I said, how come? I thought I went in the second gate. Truly like that. <laughs> And I say, how come I'm so confused like this? Eh, they told me, ah, it doesn't matter, Master, nothing happened. <laughs> a very good driver. <laughs> yeah, truly, I thought I went in the second gate. I thought there would be more light inside, Christmas light, you know, I want to, to keep the souvenir. <laughs> ah, but then I'm right there, you know, on the way to go out, uh, the one that I go in and out every day. <laughs> Well, at least this week, every day, and before that. But well, I forgot. <laughs> uh, the gate might look similar, but it's not that similar. One gate is very big and have a lot of decoration. The other gate is just one, you know, one section and nothing. How can I even uh, mix up? I was looking at the second gate, but went in through the first gate. 
And then I still thinking the second gate. I said, how come the light here don't have any more? It looked like I have seen it before. Yeah, they said, yeah, this is all we had before <laughs> and now. And I said, how about the other one? Okay, if we make mistake, went into the wrong gate, we go back to the other gate. It's, it's the same master, not much inside. Because before, when I lived there, on the roof of the VIP house, they decorated more, I guess. And now I don't live there anymore, they don't decorate a lot. So that is that. Wow, oh, you can be really that busy, you know, and mess up your mind. <laughs> But it's okay. I am not that crazy yet, okay? I'm still functioning well and working every day. <laughs> if you see everything well on TV, that means your master is still well. <laughs> what I mean is not just my lecture, I mean all the shows. If it's all running well, grammatically, logically, <laughs> Then it's your master behind it, and that means she's still okay here, yeah? <laughs> so she can help check in and correct it. Oh, if you don't have any program or any question, then what do we do? Can I share my experience with master? Ah, please say. Uh, about 10 years back when I was in Abu Dhabi and meditating. Abu Dhabi? You from Same. Abu Dhabi? Uh, yeah, I was there. You're not there anymore? Uh, no, last okay. four years I'm in India. And where are you now? India, India. right? Ah, you went back home? Yeah. Why? So, while meditating, I felt uh, I lost control of my body. So, mm. I, from meditation seat, I went to the bed. The moment I went in the bed, a bright, swirling force just chummed in my room. A force? Ah, a force. Power, yeah. some power. kind of power, power. whirling power, yeah, chumming your room. Ah. Little darkness. My soul came out and went toward that uh, bright power. Uh -huh. uh, then I heard a voice, where are you going? That voice was of my wife, where she is 4,000 kilometers away from my place. So I thought, who is this? The moment I turned, then my soul entered in the body again, mm. and uh, the bright, fo bright uh, power disappeared. I did not understood all whole phenomena. Would you, Master, explain me what exactly meant? Mm, I also don't know. Uh, you saw it and now you ask me. And long time ago, even in Abu Dhabi, i never been there. <laughs> it's really asking too much <laughs> of an old woman. <laughs> I've never been in Abu Dhabi, any of you? Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, it's uh, probably something not very 100% uh, pure that trying to make trouble for you. Mm -hmm. But because uh, you hear a voice and you, you know, you wake up again. <laughs> and then you come back, so it's okay. Hey, why do you care? Where does it go? I don't know. I never go chasing things where they go. Huh? It's gone and it's good, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Never mind. Sometimes some strange area, something might happen, yeah? Okay? Don't worry. You are... Did you thank your wife? I thank her. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> she said she don't want to lose me. <laughs> she, of course not. She loves you. Mm. Be happy. Even in time far away, she still remember you. Mm. Or maybe you remember her. Yeah, you two together, very close. And that's good, you can help each other. Hmm? Thank you, Master. You're okay, welcome. Noble viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled Spiritual Experiences Strengthen Our Faith, Part 1 of 5 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Selections from the Mother's Prayers and Meditations Be Instruments of the Divine, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom right after Northworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming.
May your days be blessed with divine love and protection. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.